Goulash, Wikipedia Audio Goulash is a stew of meat and vegetables, seasoned with paprika and other spices. Originating from the medieval Hungary, goulash is a popular meal predominantly eaten in Central Europe but also in other parts of Europe. Its origin traces back to the 9th century to stews eaten by Hungarian shepherds. Back then, the cooked and flavored meat was dried with the help of the sun and packed into bags produced from sheep's stomachs, needing only water to make it into a meal. Earlier versions of goulash did not include paprika, as it was not introduced to the old world until the 16th century. It is one of the national dishes of Hungary and a symbol of the country. The name originates from the Hungarian Gilya S. The word Gilya means herd of cattle in Hungarian, and Gilya S means herdsman or cowboy. Etymology The word Gilya S originally meant only herdsman, but over time the dish became Gilya Shadagri S A Euro that is to say, a meat dish which was prepared by herdsmen. Also in medieval times the Hungarian herdsmen of Central Europe made use of every possible part of the animal, as was common practice. As meat was scarce, nearly all of the animal was often used to make the soup, even part of the hide that provided food protection was considered a necessity. Today, Gilia S refers both to the herdsmen, and to the soup. From the Middle Ages until well into the 19th century, the pusta was the home of massive herds of cattle. They were driven, in their tens of thousands, to Europea Euro trademark's biggest cattle markets in Moravia, Vienna, Nuremberg, and Venice. The herdsmen made sure that there were always some cattle that had to be slaughtered along the way, the flesh of which provided them with Gilia Shadagrias. In Hungarian cuisine, traditional Gilia Slevs, Bagrix Gilia S, Parka Lt, and Paprika S were thick stews made by cattle herders and stockmen. Garlic, caraway seed, bell pepper, and wine are optional. These dishes can be made as soups rather than stews. Excepting Paprika S, the Hungarian stews do not rely on a flour or roux for thickening. Tomato is a modern addition, totally unknown in the original recipe and in the whole Central European food culture until the first half of the 20th century. Gullies a la sa copyright Kaylee. Reduce the potatoes and add sauerkraut and sour cream, Gilia s Hungarian plain style. Omit the homemade soup pasta and add vegetables, mock Gilia s. Substitute beef bones for the meat and add vegetables. Also called hamas gilia s, bean gilia s. Omit the potatoes and the caraway seeds. Use kidney beans instead, csa na superscript 3 gilia s. Add sauerkraut instead of pasta and potatoes, bataya ar gilia s. Use smoked beef or smoked pork for meat. Lika superscript 3 CSI pork gilia s. Use pork and thin vermicelli in the goulash instead of potato and soup pasta. Flavor with lemon juice, mutton gilia s or beer gilia s. Made with mutton. Add red wine for flavor. Goulash can be prepared from beef, veal, pork, or lamb. Typical cuts include the shank, shin, or shoulder. As a result, goulash derives its thickness from tough, well exercised muscles rich in collagen, which is converted to gelatin during the cooking process. Meat is cut into chunks, seasoned with salt, and then browned with sliced onion in a pot with oil or lard. Paprika is added, along with water or stock and the goulash is left to simmer. After cooking a while, garlic, whole, or ground caraway seed, or soup vegetables like carrot, parsley root, peppers and celery may be added. 
Other herbs and spices could also be added, especially chili pepper, bay leaf, and thyme. Diced potatoes may be added, since they provide starch as they cook, which makes the goulash thicker and smoother. However, chili peppers and potatoes are post-16th century additions, unknown in the original recipe. A small amount of white wine or wine vinegar may also be added near the end of cooking to round the taste. Goulash may be served with small egg noodles called ksipetka. The name ksipetka comes from pinching small, fingernail-sized bits out of the dough before adding them to the boiling soup. The Hungarian cook Karoli Gundel claims that in a goulash recipe, meat should not be mixed with any grains or with potatoes, so if potatoes or noodles are used, the meat should be omitted. Given the large number of goulash variants, however, this dictum is dubious. Hungarian Goulash Variations A thicker and richer goulash, similar to a stew, originally made with three kinds of meat, is called Sa Copyright Caligulia S, named after the Hungarian writer, journalist, and archivist J. A. Superscript 3 Jeff Sa Copyright Kali. Paprika S. Crumpli is a traditional paprika based potato stew with diced potatoes, onion, bell peppers, ground paprika, and some bacon or sliced spicy sausage, like the smoked Debrisener, in lieu of beef. In German-speaking countries this inexpensive peasant stew is made with sausage and known as Kartoffelgulask. Thick stews similar to Parka LT and the original Cattleman stew are popular throughout almost all the former Austrian-Hungarian Empire, from northeast Italy to the Carpathians. Like Parka LT, these stews are generally served with boiled or mashed potato, polenta, dumplings, Spati ZLE or, alternatively, as a stand-alone dish with bread. In Hungary In Vienna, the former center of the Austro-Hungarian Empire, a special kind of goulash had been developed. The Wiener Saft Gulask or the Fiaker Gulask on the menu in traditional restaurants is a must-have. It is a rich Parka LT-like stew more onions but no tomatoes or other vegetables are used, and it usually comes just with dark bread. A variation of the Wiener Saft Gulask is the Fiaker Gulask, which is served with fried egg, fried sausage, and dumplings named Semmel Nadel. Goulash is also very popular in most parts of Croatia, especially North and Lika. It is considered to be part of traditional cuisine. In Gorski Kota and Lika, deer and boar frequently replace beef. There is also a kind of goulash with porcini mushrooms. Bacon is an important ingredient. Gula is often served with fua 3 fourth i anjoki, polenta or pasta. In Croatian, Bosnian and Serbian is augmented with vegetables. Green and red bell peppers and carrots are most commonly used. Sometimes one or more other kinds of meat are added, e.g., pork loin, bacon, or mutton. In Slovenia, they are known as perkelt, but are often referred to as goulash or a similar name. In the Czech and Slovak republics, goulash is usually made with beef, although pork varieties exist and served with bread dumplings, in Slovakia more typically with bread. In pubs it is often garnished with slices of fresh onion, and is typically accompanied by beer. Beer can be also added to the stew in the process of cooking. Seasonal varieties of goulash include venison or wild boar goulashes. Another popular variant of gula a is sejadanska one half gula a with sauerkraut. In Czech and Slovak slang, the word gula a means mishmash, typically used as motiv tom gula a, 
to be disoriented or to lack understanding of something. German gulask is either a beef, pork, venison, or wild boar stew that may include red wine and is usually served with potatoes, white rice or spirelli noodles, and dumplings. Gulask sup is the same concept served as a soup, usually with pieces of white bread. Goulash in Italy is eaten in the region of Friuli Venezia Giulia and the autonomous region of Trentino Alto Adige slash SA 1 4th Tyrol, regions that had been part of the Austro Hungarian Empire and still are in part culturally and linguistically Austrian. Here it is eaten as a regular Sunday dish. It can also, although less typically so, be found in the nearby Veneto. An interesting regional recipe comes from the Pustertal in South Tyrol. It is made of beef and red wine, and seasoned with rosemary, red paprika, bay leaf, marjoram, and lemon zest, served with crusty white bread or polenta. The lemon gives its signature flavor. Goulash is also quite popular in the city of Ancona, which is culturally quite near to Eastern Europe. Gilia S. Hungarian Varieties A form of goulash is also popular in Poland, though said dish is more similar to Hungarian parka lt than actual goulash. Came to being around the 9th century. It is usually served with various forms of noodles and dumplings, such as pyzy. Paprika S. Krumpli Outside Hungary, Austria, Croatia, Czech Republic and Slovakia. In Serbia, goulash is eaten in most parts of the country, especially in Vojvodina, where it was probably introduced by the Hungarian minority. It is actually a parka lt like stew, usually made with beef, veal or pork but also with game meat like venison, deer, and boar. Compulsory ingredients are meat and onions, usually in 50 to 50% 50 ratio, paprika, and lard or oil, other ingredients being optional, garlic, parsley, chili pepper, black pepper, cinnamon, bell peppers, carrots, tomatoes, red wine, mushrooms, bacon. Sometimes, goulash is sweetened by adding tomato paste, sugar, or dark chocolate at the very end. In Serbia, goulash is most often served with macaroni or potato mash. In Slovene Partizanski Gola 3 4th, Partizan goulash, favored by Slovenian partisans during the Second World War, and still regularly served at mass public events, when cooking partisan gola 3 4th one has to use same amount of onion in terms of weight as there is meat. Slovenians usually use two or more types of meat in cooking gola 3 4th. American goulash, mentioned in cookbooks since at least 1914, exists in a number of variant recipes. Originally a dish of seasoned beef, Core ingredients of American goulash now usually include elbow macaroni, cubed steak, ground beef, or hamburger, and tomatoes in some form, whether canned whole, as tomato sauce, tomato soup, and slash or tomato paste. In some areas it is called slumgullion. Germany Italy Poland Serbia Slovenia United States Other Notes